Doctor. How's it going today? Very good. I'm really happy to be here. We're happy to have you. Now, would you do us the honor of introducing yourself and tell us what you do? Okay, my name is Amira Valle. I've been working in the field of social emotional education for more than 10 years and what I do is I developed a program based on mindfulness and social emotional education for young children and this program is based on all my studies in neuroscience, meditation and also I'm, I'm an educator so it's very based on Montessori practices and I published this program like 10 years ago. My, uh, my book is called The Elephant's Gift, and it's for children from K through sixth grade. I've been testing this program in my country, I'm from Mexico, mm -hmm. and in some other uh, South America and Spain. Uh, and the results of this program have been really good. So the first thing I did was write this program, mm -hmm. teach it at schools to young children, and then I realized that a lot of children need this social emotional education, and I was not able to teach all the children. So what I did was I developed a graduate program for teachers mm -hmm. and educators in order to teach them how to bring this uh, uh, social emotional education to schools. So I now run this graduate program mm -hmm. that is endorsed by the University of Mexico. And I teach uh, to teachers, psychologists, and all kind of educators. I'm also a professor of neuroscience of emotions at the university. And well, my work uh, with these teachers has been very rewarding because I, I asked them as part of the requisites to graduate and obtain the diploma to give these uh, classes, this program for free and I have done some um, uh, connections with the most needed institutions in my country so this way the, it has had a huge impact in the um, underprivileged uh, children and teens. So that's, I think that's why I'm here. It's fantastic. Thank that's you. fantastic. And I hear you have a surprise for us at the end of the interview. I'll be sure to cue that in. <laughs> okay. Tell me, you are receiving an award at this conference. How does that feel? Well, it feels really great, you know, because I've been working for so many years and sometimes it's like swimming against the stream, you know. It, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of trust in what you do mm -hmm. and being recognized here it m helps me see that it's meaningful what I'm doing that it has an impact and this is really great that's wonderful congratulations thank, thank you what has been your experience so far with the global forum for education and learning well I think it's a great uh, forum because it's very international a lot of educators are here people who really believe in the value of education and education as a tool to improve as a society. Mm -hmm. So getting the chance to know all these wonderful people is really wonderful. That's fantastic. Now how do we learn more about the work that you're doing? How do we stay connected with you? Okay, well the program that I wrote, it's called The Elephant's Gift. Mm -hmm. So there is this website that is called uh, it, it was originally developed in Spanish, mm -hmm. so the website is elregalodelelefante.com and you can find the book, different activities, freebies, um, recorded meditations and all that. You can also write me uh, to amira at elephantwise.com.org or visit the, the webpage that is elephantwise.org. And there, there is information about the graduate program, about the children's book, the school program uh, that is a more systemic program that includes the training for teachers, training for children, and um, parents as well. And I have this children's program as well as a teens program. So with uh, all, the, all the age all groups. Yes. 
Now, I heard you have the book and something else to share with us, so let me go ahead and grab that for you. So I think okay. you wanted to share a little bit of this. Okay. Tell us what this is. And well, um, I, many years ago, I graduated in all the different <laughs> programs of mindfulness for educational systems, but they were for older kids. And uh, when I was teaching in the classroom, uh, one year I had a lot of three and four years old, and it was difficult to tell them, oh, I'm gonna train you in how to develop attention. So I said, no, little children really love stories, so I need to invent a story where they can relate. And I wanted the main character to be the mind. Well, how can you show the mind? And there is this analogy in the East that the mind is like a big white elephant that is so powerful. It can take you wherever you want to go, but you have to train it. <laughs> because an untrained uh, elephant can destroy the whole village and not take you where you want. So the first step is train the mind, the mind in order to get where you want. So that's how uh, I thought about the baby <laughs> elephant. This is the main character of this book, The, the Elephant's Gift. And the story is about this baby elephant being in a hunter's trap. And two siblings, they find the baby elephant and they have to train it to return to, the, to find the family. So every chapter in the book is about a different practice, a mindfulness or social emotional education practice. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of exercises, but it's the story of Rumi and the two siblings. So children really relate with the story. They love it. They remember the story and remember the practices two, three years later because they really love this <laughs> character. So, Amira, I understand now why you awarded this yeah. award today. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Thank you, Malika. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah.